All these territories and lands and angles and latitudes and longitudes. Yeah. <coughs> You don't need some hot tea. You know I mean? You need that gossip. The tea makes you gossip. I'm going to I'm going to be I'm going to be I'm going to be I'm going to I'm going to be 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 I'm going creation. Ah, the, 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 we need to support each other. No, 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 and then the, I mean, we are women of color. People call us women of okay, color. Okay, okay, sponsor video, you know. Okay, we'll talk about it. Women of color. You think that is right? Women oh, of color. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, okay. So we also have to reign in color, right, people? Is that you? Uh-huh. What is your advertisement? So this video is officially sponsored by Brutawa Kiari Mojiro. Wa Baria the Rokiari Africa. She has officially sponsored this of Lashi Mojiro. Mojiro Juraiwa Demia Kiva. Uh huh. Allah. Demi Demi Wai Tiogaga. Demi Wai Tiogaga. Flashy. Mm hmm. And Jiros. Mene Mojiro. Mene Mojiro. Wa Mashu. Mutuke Mwanaga. Mutuke Nagi Dunya Nakia Kiri. Amera Gane Demi Oriko. Wa Atene. Wa Atene. Yeah. Demi Atene. Atene. Flashy. Mojiro. Atene. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to call Anu? Shout out to Demi. Shout out to Demi White. Shout out to Anu, the high places of Anu. Whether you want to call it your temple, your Jesus, whether you want to call it whatever you want, whether you want, whatever, you know, it's all language, it's all language. Nikiru in a video is about language and heliographics. Listen. Nekerume. <laughs> I'm giving you the story behind the song. Nego temo temiwane mato makahe. Kimuri da kanye meruru. Ah, ri 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 ri. Oli kanye kimuri torari horowa illumination. The true great luminaries want to rule over the day. Genesis one, chapter fifteen. In chapter one, verse fifteen. And I saw two great luminaries. One to shine over the day, to be called the day. One to rule over the night, to be called the moon. And he made stars, he made Jagawa Mothaka. Nigeza ago kaha haro, ibota roro, oye to neke rume. Owa di ke yaroe na kod. Nigei wa otana. Si ugo na yone jehova gai wa otana, si ugo. Listen. Isi tisia nesiao. Nesia gai. 
Siugo, nisi ya guy high frequency. Siugo. Siugo na hiyo. Hey. Hey. Ni wa otana. Ni jevo ra otana. Hey. Nisi yugo. Gai wa otana. Gai no. Ni wa modu wa kiromanezi ya God. Okay, we are going to be your God. So to carry your own God, we are going to guide you to the right way. We are to carry your own God. We are not guiding you. Yet you know, for some people, they make money a God. Yet you know, for some people, we give them gold idols. We call them idols. We make them gods. They are musicians. They are rappers. We give them a a totem. We give them a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a we make them gods. Anything that you worship, the idols that you are participating in. We got to that here. Got a global idols happening this weekend, whereby we are going to the global idol award. So we are awarding idol, idolizing something. Idolizing something. It's not about worshiping the 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 idol, or the entity or the thing. It's about the frequency behind to idolize. So what is to idolize? We are looking at the frequency. We are not looking at the words. We are not looking at the language. You speak the language of the Lord. Nekerume. Now, this is the point of the video whereby you save the video or you share the video or you like the video or something. We are about to get hot. We kuona ni doya sai. Haha ni hali ya hali ya Twitter. Kaudu gerekika. Uko ona adu mauga moa ikuwa be. Maikaredi. Manyue sai. It's tea time. A.K.A. It's time to kill some cells. It's time to hit the pallet. It's time to have a hot face. When you sip on some hot tea, you are having a hot face. What is a hot face? A hot face is a steaming face. For there to be steam, there has to be fire. Fire will only steam something that is condensed and, and heavy, a water. So once we have a steam, once I start steaming, I'm lightening my waters, a.k.a. I am going to my higher clouds. It will a hot tea face. This is my, this is my evening Saturn day, Mutuaroru. This is my flaming sword. It's flaming. Ni chai moto. Grab your tea. Now, uka igua kiedu kiretu o pin, a.k.a. P-I-N, gasuma. Gasuma ka ure, no kanyeti dhe kidoro dhigo ini. It can pin something down. Now, enu ya retu o pin, P-I-N, no way kedo uthe esereria, whether it's a tax, whether it's a wall painting or something. So you can pin something to the wall using a pin, something thin. Gasuma. Now, take the same frequency, pin, pen, karamuleu. Now, you can pen something down and create with a pen. You can write it down. You can pass a musitaka ati isisiya magoti ni isisiya kerea. You can pass a judgment or you can declare with a pen a deal. So you can pinpoint something with a pen. You can point something down with a pen. So a pinpoint with a pen. Nerege yuma pin, P-I-N, which you use to center something on a wall. So you can stick something on a wall with a pin. When you use a pen, the same frequency, you can pen something down. You can bring your words and pen them down. So you are you are penning, you are pinning your words down. I hope I'm talking to, I hope I'm talking to the right people now. So I hope I'm talking to the right people. Even if it's just one who gets it, it's okay. So, that pin, that pen, the same frequency, doing the same thing, pinning it down, for you, you may miss it. It's all witchcraft. It's all a language. 
So the pin will pin something to the wall. The pen will pen a writing and pen it down. Now, when you go to a penitentiary, you are doing the same thing. Whereby you are pinning people now, spirits, souls, in a location, a general penitentiary, all the way to the point, the whole thing with the jail, a jail cell, Haria Jere Wako, it's about energy harvesting. So we are pinning people, penning, pinning them down with the writing, a, 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 what do you call it? A, a passing a sentence, sentencing them with the pen, at the judging in a miyakaramu, niago pin in a penitentiary jail. It's not penitentiary, it's penitentiary. But now, what is, has been pinned down? Your soul, your personality, how you vibrate, because now you are a prisoner, Mr. Jailbreaker. We take away your name, we break you. Jailbreaker, we break you, we take your name. You become nothing but a number, a number we give meaning to. And all the your okave. And to cover, you are taking your house, your first crown chakra, pushing it down to your number five, your Leo, to your solar plexus, between your legs. So what kind of ritual is that you are doing when you're being told, cover? Did you come up with these terms and conditions? You didn't. You are given a system, a British system, how to make laws, how to govern, how to jail, how to treat people in jail, how to make them cover. You never covered as Africans. Now, Tokwaria Gesogaga, Motioyo, okay, Gesha de Giaqua, Kihaha, Heliographs, Pado Bona, the Great Gesha de Negiaqua, Ekinegesha de Giaqua, Ekinegesha de Kia Jaga Mozaka, the Tora Gesha de, okay, it's not what you do, it's how you do it, especially if you know what you are doing. Reu Hena Hado, how many Moywa Mubu, the Moywa Mubu, the Nibuka Woko, the Nye, O he get Osuna Moywa Mubu, the Reu Mugua Mubuzi, what you can displace the Dona Mugua Mubuzi, the same size. So, Nehaha, Nehaha, this is esoteric knowledge. Nehaha, Reu Haha, Nehodre, the Toki Kevi de Noraka, Rakoroga Kigira, Nega the Kabi Gehau, Nega the Keduge, we to Moedia Begosia Moedia, City Gaiteke, Tadusia Gate Kane Uru, and since you regu how they near. Language, how they created the language and how language is number one spiritual warfare on your sorry black ass. Now, we're about to go deep. <coughs> Sip on some tea. We are serious. It's gonna get hot up in here. Bogosia Satan Destri Zero. Bogosia Mutuaro Stri Zero. Now, so, since now you understand the energy frequency behind the words, Tondaku has an example a pin, a pen, and a penitentiary. A penitentiary. You are pinning souls there in one location. Whether Tagoria Tere, Sianasiarangata. Modoka grab land. Sienin Rodigo Siagoidia. Sianasia Momora Stogore to Nemoag Siano Momora Rodigo. No ado moheto, Majabazi Subu, Matri Mine Nero de Goro Kamete, Makaru Yade. Neki, Neri Koreari Ko, that Haden, Ricorea Watria Moakinioe, Moakis Yoneku Gatia, Wakiko Gonaki, Okawa Moakua Jera do Horaga, Nikoko Gimoaki Uta Horaga, Moakua Musi do Horaga. No ni mwa olivia mwa ki wa mwusi, to ni mwa hero digital light, a.k.a. gas. But the people who practice this on you, they live in houses that have chimneys kwa wuti horaga mwa ki. No red apartment, no hado utaka watia mwa ki. Anyway, mwa mudhaka don't go too deep, don't go too deep, don't go too deep mwa mudhaka. Try to stay on the surface, try to stay on the front. Don't go too deep, a.k.a. don't go too high in the esoteric clouds. Everything is reversed. When you hear of deep, you are thinking deep is something you go down. You are thinking deep since it's a deceleration, you are going down. No. Down is the language created. There's nothing like down or up in the spiritual world. There's nothing or far. 
It's always about distance and closeness. There's no far or near. That was made up. That's a language. There's no, there's nothing like near or far. It's just distance and closeness. AKA, you can have a distance relationship. AKA, the person you're having a relation with is in a distance. A distance, not far away. Since even at a distance, you have a relationship. Even at a distance, they still belong to you. Even at a distance, you come and you end up getting married. Yet, you can be in the same place, AKA, closeness to someone who is close to you and have no relationship with them. AKA, you can be in the same bed with your wife, but your relationship is such a distance relationship, you are not having sex for five months in a row, but you are sleeping in the same bed. Yet, there's someone who's chatting, sexting and changing nudes and exchanging uh, uh, erotica with someone who's not even near, yet they're having more sex, whether it's phone sex. They're having more orgasms out of stimulation, so they are more close, yet one is not even a distance together you get the language so once you understand the creation of the language then you understand that deep when something is deep it means you are going to its tiniest constri constriction its beginning when you are going deep you are going to the extreme so everything has a yin yang yang when you are going to the extreme it can be to the expanse so the extreme end of that mountain, the extreme side. So you are going to the edge. So you are going deep. That is why you say you are going deep into space. We are exploring deep into the space. You are exploring, you are exploring deep ocean. But to you, it's not deep ocean because to you, it's new territories. You are going to the deep sea to see new territory. So you are not carrying the energy of its heart. You are carrying the energy of you want to discover. That's why you want to go to deep space to discover planets and new things. So deep is naturally not a bad thing. So when Jagar Muzaka is saying, I'm going deep, you have to understand in the spiritual term, I'm going to my expanse into new territories. Like you should. But you have been made to think that deep is bad. I wouldn't think too deep. <laughs> You're thinking too deeply. Now, when you are going to the likes to go deep, shout out to all my queenies. Jagamu that likes to go deep. Esoterically speaking. Mm. Beautiful cake. Woo. Some sugar. Let me sugarcoat the whole career. Let me sugarcoat it. Let me add some flavor. Some tea and some cake. Now. When you go back to language that we speak, and that is why I'm even making this video in English to get your unplugged mind, otherwise the words I can use for a coil to speak this, you will not even get it. Because you have been taught a new language to hate your language, to hate your phonetics. Now, females know this. So since the women know they are feminine. Women have what you call intuition. Intuition, it is your way you are you are you are Don't never even second guess yourself. Ukikaskia umekaskia. You don't need evidence or anything. Ukikaskia umekas. That's your spiritual gifts as queens, as feminine, as the people who catch feelings first. Okay? So you are catching my guiltiness first. You are catching my chickiness first. You are catching everything first. Now, you have been made to believe that you don't need your intuition. So now you can add language, logic, the five senses, aka, uh, uh, aka, I'm an empath. That's why you are feeling too much. Aka, uh, you are giving you are giving everything meanings. Aka, uh, I, have, I have a mental condition. It's called PTSD. Right. So you are giving you are giving meanings. 
you are justifying a ritual and spell that's being practiced on you. What do I mean? Now, if you go to the National Museum of Kenya, or whichever National Museum you want to go to, Museum, Museum, I don't care about the frequency. I don't care about how you spell them. That's just a spelling. Telling me I'm getting the spelling wrong. I don't wanna, it's a Museum for me. I'm not going to Museum it. What? It's a Museum. Okay? I'm not going to give credit to a language I didn't help create. And especially when I understand what is behind the language. Now, when you go to a Mishiam, you will find that we have what you call cavemen. These cavemen, for you may look at them backward. Okay? It's just that they were in a different transition. The cavemen were not backward. It's just that during that transitional time, those 4,000 years ago, where the world was, before Pisces, that is the best way they can they could communicate in that space so how are they communicating they were communicating in hums and hymns and hymns all that caveman language so that caveman language may look illiterate but that's actually a language that is closest to the gods and that is why they claim people will claim to speak in tongues when they are speaking in the spirit, what do I mean? So when you are speaking, when you are humming the vowels, hoo, 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 the caveman, hoo, 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 so you are utilizing a language that has not been given many letters. Uh, the more letters you give a language, the more logic and, and language and linguistics and many pointers that you are adding to a name. All the way to the point, the word alphabet, since the word alphabet is talking about very many alphabets, it has to be a very long word. The name alphabet, a big alphabet. Alphabet as a name because it, it has to carry, the alphabet has to carry all the energies of all the other letters. A.K.A. when you are, when we are explaining A to Z, for us to explain what is A, to, an A to represent an apple, an abacus, or whatever, for B, which can represent, which is the bell that the second can represent a banana, a ball, or whatever, with each different frequencies. So all those pointers, for them to fit in the name, the name has to be big. It has to be the name alphabet. And it is then has to start with an A, a.k.a. a point of reference for the first time. A, Allah, Alba, Awa, uh, 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 Allah. Uh, 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 anything that has an A, a point of reference for the first time. So to reference to the word or the letters in a big word, an alphabet is a big word, has to start with an A. So all those things were not needed back then. We didn't need to give so many interpretations to the letters. We never had a ball. We made a ball up just the other day. So all the representations of a ball, ball, boy, uh, basket, uh, uh, beaver, uh, b balls, uh, bullshit. Uh, b b b we are adding so many things all the way now. We even added the word beach, it was not there. Another addition. So, all those additions are more meanings we are giving to letters. So, the more we are sinking away from the original language of hmm, ham, ha, udioma, nekerume. Kirume, aka why the Kiria Kirume It is the language of the gods. This is the music that was for the god. It was not for us. Reboro Tiruito, the Kiria. As I bite my cake. The Maki is not to Amo, the other Maki are guy. You're the Maki are guy. Kenya to you, a material you are Kenya. Mal you are Borori. Why will you call your Messiah with the Kenya or Gessia Kenya and Borori? No, Kenya is a nation. It's not a country, it's a nation. A nation called Kenya, a.k.a. a land, a vegetation, 
a quotation. We quoted that land, called it Kenya. We quoted that land, a quotation, a notation, a notation, or they to be given a notion. In quote, another drama. It's all language. So Uganda is a nation, a state of nation. How is the how is the state of nation? How is the state of that nation? Not a country, it's a legion with different energies, stations, nation, that nation, stations, all these are energy points, different energy points or stations. Now <coughs> so Woka hege sade, ni uko rage sade yake nikyo kina alphabeti ya mwe kuyo yode. Ok? So now, woka ha hare, ni uko igua terere, eh, hizi siyo the scene representation na mini. Eke e, ha no igua terere, raka neka hiyo gai deja. So this is representing a knife, this knife. So what is the representation of this knife? Ogo roni raa ore, oroga magiri rake, niki igeka, ni dasa oga nako, that's a quality. What is to sharpen something? Nekohegia. Nekohegia sharpening something because it's associated with a sword. AKA, a king has to be sharp to decide this is not the mother, this is the mother. So, okay, you are no siarite, you are no siarite, moana, no quidity, moana, moana, no aqua, a care goe. Tarero, you are your ordinary sianesi, isu jigere, menyanina no. Theatre, mudua oka, Jewish intellect, I also like it cannot mudua ni theatre, you are kidding, No. Ruhirora roga mera go sharpen kido go sharpen kido ne kohegia a sharp mind someone who has a brain so that king can make a decision like he was cutting a baby in two what is a baby allegory a baby is a descendant feeling matiogira gana kana kari ga kahe gana kari ga kai retu it's a descendant feeling a descendant something that has descended from you so you your first mind what you think masculine and feminine the first thought the first creation that you create now it's descended is trying to kill the father so you come up with the sword the judgment the lie has to be caught out the lie is like eh eh so to come that is the lie otherwise ageuga muheyane aka i'm willing to sacrifice the baby I'm willing to sacrifice that descended thought or feeling for me to get back to my father. I know that was too deep, but that's not the point. So, what I want to kahiyo no wae uriye boga, wako la mudheji ona kahiyo, ona rao, alona kidu ya ute manyama, mudogeo goni muturi, ayada kuwe ya godhi, ya sigo alayada akona, so this represents so many things, it does not represent one thing, so when you use your brain, when you're spiritual enough, you'll understand that a knife is not a knife, even in the Bible, Oracular representations need different as, as like for now, I'm using it as a carving knife. When I'm not using it as a carving knife and it's back in a sheath, if I go outside to camp and I have my light and I have my lighter and I'm starting a fire, okay, if I am starting a fire with my drink like I'm supposed to in the forest, Right there, okay, with my knife, I'm starting a fire, so by default, you will know that the knife, I will be thinking about hunting, getting some meat, eating, so it's still the same knife or sword that I'm carving something with, for now, it's a carving tool, I'm carving, if I have my knife, and I'm in the bush, and I start lighting a fire, you know I'm using it to eat, I'll be killing something, Sacrificing something, or skinning something, or cutting something open, even if I just want to burn a tuba, anguaje, whatever. So, this is not a knife. Okay, it's a knife, yes, but this is not a knife. This is what it can represent depending on different locations. A.K.A. the Bible is an allegory book. So, when they mention a knife in the Bible, 
it's not specifically speaking about a knife. So when a king was about to sacrifice to a child with a knife, he didn't use an, a physical knife. The knife can sharpen something. So he had a sharp mind. And what is a sword? The king asked for his sword. What is a sword? Every man has a sword. A.K.A. Every man has an Adam apple. And he has a dick. Two minds. Now. <clears throat> to my language. To a na pin. Na pen. Da kuni na mahu dagi language. So now. Waso ka odo ire inere. Kana waso ka hea mowe koyo ore. Uga kora atire ere. Eha. Hai tame igua. Toro ginyanda ari garo. Diake igade. So that now makes you understand that Muinua is a de Akira Gisade Niamen or Yara Nadira in Agisade, Yara Idia Moanare. No, I would so many representations of this knife compared to so many locations on the Gisade. To get Gakaneka Yuai de Ja. So I can pick this. In reference to the sun. And the sun in the Gishande or Gonirona is divided into two parts above the horizon and below the horizon. I'm not going to go too deep into, into symbology. So I'm, I can only pass through. This is an arrow. Hunting arrow. You have to understand what is a hunting arrow. You have to understand where it's pointing. And it is now. Yeah, Godi. No, look at my frequency. Yeah, Godi. Ne kuga ati ya Godi. Kido kira nyoroka. Waro na nyeki. Yeah, Godi. Eko ya green na ni shiny. Slidey. It is now yeah, Godi. Shiny. Because every time you be rubbing when you are shaking it, so it becomes shiny from being rubbed down. It is now yeah, Godi. Goda. God and Yaki, you know, and Erasha in a Chigatora. So it's not about the word, it's the frequency, but that's not the key. So, this simple language is what you call heliographs. And heliographs is less words, less explanation, less letters. And let, less letters, less representations, and language means less densities. So it's a high. Language, it's a language of the gods. Since you need less to speak so much, you don't see you don't need to say anything. So so it's, it make it so you don't need to be because you know now. So that language, what you call heliographs, is what even makes people now they go back to study Hebrew. They are not studying Hebrew because it's a pure language. They are studying Hebrew to understand how to use less words, a.k.a. Latin. So now they can use Latin, less words, to cast their spells and rituals on you. Because now they don't have too much representations, too many meanings. They are very pure. They are very heliographic. They are very caveman. They are very hoo, 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 hoo. That means, let's go hunt, eat, we'll be happy, dance around the fire, fuck our women, sit back, and wait for tomorrow. Hoo, 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 hoo. Less letters, less alphabets, less, less too many points of references. That which need not be said needs to be understood only. Hoo, 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 hoo. Done. Okay, when well, a primitive language, but in that simple language, they have communicated the same thing. It takes you hours to communicate in the morning. Niaje joro. Unadu. Na oshagari. Aha. Ikimaiza ku oshagari na pita. Aha. Alafu ni pita. Apo ni chukwe ka white cup. Aha. Na ukumbuke mzinga. Aha. Alafu juwe tunatoka hapo. Tunapita wapi. Tunenda vasha. Before tuende, tupigi wale madimu waroaka. Awa madimu waroaka wakamu. Tuende. Tukatemaji. Tupige dunda. 
unajua ama piano eh kipeipe ding ding tumatokea hapo tuende tuchukue KNBNB hiyo KNBNB sio ndio kumbali tu lipa na kadi eh na hata last time ujarudishia tu tukienda KBNBNB ki eh si unajua pale hivyo ni eh tuni ni Kingfisher eh Kingfisher Pant the Move eh Mnoe mati gikiria ido sia to go men e la standard ile kabiro ka gri 14 makiumeria this time atirathio na kone wono ginya marire ni sa ho ka bnbnb hauri you know so so much language and all you had to do was done we go hunt we eat we fuck we rest we wait for tomorrow but language is lostness so the more language they teach you that is why english is a bastardized language to take over the the languages of the world it will be a language now they define and give meaning to each and every word aka who 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 you go to jail you are mentally retarded you cannot communicate because you can only communicate in a language that they have set up a lingo a lango a, a linguistics so that they can be the only people who can make you practice witchcraft on yourself by repeating those words every sunday you're repeating those words so every sunday you are putting yourself in more trials and tribulations every other time you you go do national anthems you are willing to die for something you shouldn't every other time you go and sing a song every other time you be, you be, you become obsessed with the song that they have set and made it make sense made it become number one using their TVs and gadgets so you think it's number one but you are forgetting they make it become number one since they use everything the algorithm the youtube the channels everything that you have is theirs so they make it make sense so trap music becomes gangster music becomes this uh, bullshit becomes this all this agendas become the things they shine their lights on on their gadgets so they make sense to you so you think this is the way of the world that's not the way of the world no life then you can see them for what they are then you get to use them aka you find jegawa mutaka watching juicy fruits it's in area godi but you are doing it god's way aka we understand the program we understand why that thing is working like that so we don't become it we are able to detach like the gods we can see as a creation of another god another terms and condition aka let us make man like one of us because the last time i checked we are weak otherwise there's no way you can tell me that africans were strong yet when i go back to history we look like we are always doing the wrong thing aka there's nothing you can present to the world that you look like it's something anything an africa presents to the world looks like it's backward looks like it's primitive even your religion had to be declared primitive the way you lived had to be declared primitive you are told you came from the cavemen you are primitive so anything you present to the world looks primitive because you have no magic behind it so your magic doesn't shine your magic is fake you have no charisma you have nothing you are just black and 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 and, and you think melanin and being black and, and 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 you 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 thinking oh you used to be great so what happened you have never been great otherwise you can remember how great you were to be great again so you are never great you never fell okay someone made you think you fell so you gave up your rights you started believing that you had fallen that's why when you look back you can see the pyramids but you can't remember because you are not that you are bigger than that that is nothing you are bigger than heliographs because this is the beginning of language when you started putting it down in writing so you move from hoo, 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 to now now you are writing it but this is the closest you can get back to that as a representation so the heliographs the signs and symbols that they used to practice magic on new aka adidas nike and the armor all those esoteric signs and sigils magical heliographs that they used to make you get addicted to their things their brands their coca cola their circles their lines their timelines is the magic they use to keep you under 
and confused because you don't know how to create your own lines because you forgot about your own heliographs that you had put down which they took and they studied them and they put them in Israel Isadegi to yekoragwa itari museum kila kiale kia ive mutugijoruage sade ive wa kimanua duta his father his original Ishande ekoragwa itari why do you think they have it in Italy? Because they studied the whole heliographic of your language in a book. Big PDF book translated in Italian for the church, for the Italian church. So where's your magic? Continue following Under Armour. Continue following Adidas. Continue loving Nike. Nike. Nike products. You don't even know why you're liking Nike. You're liking Nike because it's your Saturday. Nike is Saturn day. The days are to rest. So Nike is the is the tick. Okay? That tick. I want me to start teaching now. <clears throat> Let's teach. My tea is getting cold. Let's teach quickly. So that Nike that you love, draw a Nike, Jagamodaka. So that Nike tick. That Nike tick that you love wearing. Nike, this is not Nike. This is the Satan. This is planet Satan. Okay, this is the, the Satan rings. So the Satan rings that go around Satan. So you have to understand what is Satan. Saturn day. What is the representation of Satan as a planet? As a seventh planet. Then once you understand the meaning behind Satan, you'll see that our people have taken advantage of taking the sign of Satan, taking that tick, the rings, taking the Satan rings, that Nike, using it as a logo, but they know your spirit will be attracted to that because you forgot, but your spirit never forgets its footprints in the sun. It remembers, keep you holy, the Sabbath day. The Satan planet, Saturn day, Saturday. The Sabbath day, keep you holy that day. So by default, your spirits want to wear a Nike. You see, I can't wear Nike, bana. Do you know that I can't wear Nike? Ninja da we kira guosi na Nike. Shout out to Nike. They become billionaires or become weak because you forgot your magic. They took your magic. Now you are powerless. Africans, to the point you became slaves. You lost your power so much, you became slaves. We are still slaves. Spiritual slaves. This is a spiritual warfare. Shout out to Jagawa Mothaka, Nebo, Romakeki. So why you are Nekerume 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 Gaya Kiri Nyaga That is ham Hu 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 Hoo hoo. Nikoro nedo. Atumia hidai ya duri anu. Muhena ni madire bara. Hoo 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 hoo. Mudogo ha Spiritual language. The people knew that vibration means hide your young men. The enemy is within. We are going to entertain the enemy. Nekirume. Nekirume. Hey, No, you get what I'm saying? So, Gaiya Don't look at Gai Kirinyaga, the mountain. It's just a pointer. Kirinyaga kia na govio no yajia gawamu vaka. Right now, I'm pointing somewhere. You don't know where I'm pointing. Okay? Shout out to the Shaolin Temple and the Shaolin Masters. Jagawamu vaka shall cast no stones as you. We look at them as they are like movies. We know they are not movies now. Now, Shaolin Temple, Kirenyaga. Listen. Tugebe haa bere, ungedaira Kirenyaga. Haa haa. 
wakiwa watu ile mukiwa ni kirimo ngetheire kirima haha karaja nake mweno angethete mweno nake angethete mweno ore na thutha mungethete inyo the tikorona murora nite inyo the nikorona murora nite muruga muro ngetheire kirinyaga no ore mune uri akingetheire ri nikorona murora nite aka the 360 okay you are monad so by default you know it's not about your modern it's about that circle that you are in from whichever location you are in if i go above that circle that circle if i'm trying to square out that situation that circumstance that circle of friend that circum the circumstances surrounding that thing that circle if i want to square it out make a square and i saw god standing on the four corners of the world I'm squaring it out from a position outside so that I can see the four corners. I cannot do that until I have squared out that circle, a.k.a. I have gone above the circle, the radius. I have gone above the circle, the radius, the pyramid, and I'm here observing the four corners, a.k.a. squaring out the circle. Now, that point of reference is what mukora wa munge daire that point of reference, who is in the number five. Since a square, one, two, three, four, the four corners, for me to be an observer, a pyramid, I have to become the five. And as above, so below. As above, so below. You're drawing a pyramid now. As above, so below. You are pulling it into a prism. What point of reference is that? What point of reference is that? What is that piece of rock? What is that asteroid? asteroid a flying rock a piece of stone a shooting star you are the star and what they give you is an asteroid with an e to ginya kirira kiu kia asteroid gonyo kikirumi kiso kagira woni ra kirumi kiso kagira kirumi ri tura gesto kagira aka an asteroid you can see it as a mathematical calculation you can see it as a mathematical calculation now so um to my language so that language the heliographic language now becomes the language because you are saying less it's not about what you are saying it's what you are saying you don't have to say it it's what you say aka mwari wa gishade kana muinu wa gishade Aka with ya siye dimu. Aka wane tukuhi hagi ya siye ke. Siye daya. That means we can bring something to a close. That means we can post something. That means we can change the language, the coding. Because now we have an infiltrator amongst us. An enemy within. Kikuracho kimgu oni moako. A heta. A backstabber. You get it. So that is the power of um, your language. That is the power of your words. That is the power of your rodiomi. Do you remember rodiomi? Ate ate ne do ake do kege. To rodiomi ro aku ne ro geota rodiomora ne ro geota ro koordina ro do ge koordina ro rodiomi ene. To rodiomi ro ne do ena ke do ge ta ro intellectual property rights of going into their lingo or giving it your own logic aka if it means a dog in their language it means a dog in their language and that's final aka there are people we go they shot me because he called them a bitch because a bitch is not a represent same representation to that person so aka you can call different people the same word bitch but it resonates differently with each and every person aka my soul group has beautiful bitches you know that when i'm saying that i'm not meaning it in the bad way yet in another situation you can call someone bitch and because of the frequency they be like oh shit what did i do so it's about the phonetics and you cannot code that unless it's in your language so I'm not having a conversation with myself. 
having a conversation with my higher self, aka speaking to my burning bush. Stick a bush everywhere you go. You stick a bush. Shout out to uh, Negradiators. I think it's the Gradiators, if I'm not wrong. I stand corrected. I may not know my reggae, but I know where the frequency comes from. I shout out to the sons of Anu, pointing to the same thing. My geographical location is Gekoyo. I do respect you, Rastafarian, but you do your Rastafarian thing on that side. You are looking at Anu, you know, we are all pointing at the same place. AKA, we are all pointing to our crown chakra. Out of your fifth house, you take your solar plexus from your fifth house. Okay? Your Leo sign, and you push it to your first house, your crown, where you spring, aka begin something new. Now that we have come out of Aries, now you are springing new life. Your first house, you can grow something new. Now we can see the, 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 the maize is springing. We can see the beans that we planted the other day are springing, aka a birth, a beginning, a new. And I want to call it a new. Whichever one I want to call it in Kemet. Waka Kirenyaga, Gaiwi Toa Kirenyaga. You know what I'm saying? You, end up, you understand life then. You, you come and you find all these things that everyone is trying to point at the right thing. And some of us are even pointing at lost things since that again is not your, your point of view. You are not consulted. So you have to look for the truth in everything, and there's nothing like truth in life. It's all about a balance. There's <coughs> nothing like true. There's nothing like being true. There's nothing like being true. There's no, there's no truth in life. It's always a parameter. Percentage. Hmm. Good chocolate cake. Woo! Shout out to Monjiro. Here's the cakes. Monjiro got the cakes. If you know what I'm saying. So now, Wagoiwa, Wagoiwa, Gwene Thayo, Pita Dune Thayo, Mosharo Mosharo Ne Thayo, Wakanyambu Niaga Ithika, Kanyambu Niaga Ithika, Saya, Nehe, Shugun. The house belongs to the woman. The container always owns all the intellectual property rights. And the moment you play around with that, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Akiwa modwa ena atumia mogo waja. Gari mogo waja. Investments. You are missing the point. Seven wives. Seven feminine representation. Seven cars. Seven wings. Multiple personalities. You'd get to jail and come out. You see, the movies you see, but in reality, that's not a normal spirit. That gun, that man who was gunned down is not a spirit to play around with. That's an oversoul. That's a spirit on a very high scale. Do you know what that means? To have seven wives, seven cars, 
different investments of a hundred bank accounts that's not a normal spirit okay you may think it's normal because you are with him woko the no na e ora kiuga na si gosi yako kauga eh usio timodo wa kawaida why are you saying timodo wa kawaida okay eh usio ndira mutaborire why because spiritually that is the, in the spiritual side that's a spirit that is on another plane whereby having seven wives is a normal thing aka having seven opposing feminine energies and balancing them is a normal thing having multiple existences is a normal thing having seven personalities since each and every wife knew him different so those are different uh, personalities that is what you call different personas that is what you call different virtual worlds Idai. different metaverses so that's a spirit on the spiritual world it's on a time zone where it can play with seven multiverses at the same time seven uh, personalities at the same time seven personas at the same time so it's a spirit that's on the sixth dimension but ako hapa physically like a fallen angel or a fallen demon or a fallen archangel or a fallen lord but since in this world they don't want us to know those things they create movies to make those people look as the villain anyone who robs a bank is a villain but anyone who robs a bank is a spirit that has an i don't care attitude i don't care about you telling me this money cannot be mine i will go to a bank and take this money so that's a spirit that is has its its conviction cannot even live in this world that is why he robs a bank and he gets killed because it's a very strongly convicted spirit that is going to rob a bank yet he knows the bank will be surrounded by police and he has one gun but he's convinced and that's a spirit that's a virtue of conviction but they make those things look criminal but when you look at it you look at him like a bank thief because they made that movie no he's not a bank robber he's a character that has a lot of conviction energy he's so easily convicted in himself he can go rob a bank he's so easily convicted in himself that he can maintain seven wives without any of them knowing and have different over 100 bank account and still manage them that's not a normal spirit but in this world it's just a thug oh gaidi he becomes nothing but a statistic a name mirema na huyo mirema mirema that's a fallen archangel in the movies is the neramona mena madhau nyamu simoro magirira sia kirea my my ai ataimata imeisha ni kwa tumia airtime ju wifi iko poa so bogo go tinderi how share the video that video is deep share the video this is the video asikaraga it may be at some sometime you may you may find it missing and die